Welcome, welcome back, y'all. <laughs> 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 no, I thought you said you were gonna say welcome to Movie Minds. Oh, but then you said something else. Welcome back. Hey, uh, welcome you guys. Let's do it. Let's do it again. All right, let's. Do it. No, 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 we can leave it. Okay, welcome, welcome to Movie Minds, y'all. How we just. Said, How's it going, guys? It. Really right. happy to see you guys. We For have sure. a few things to talk about today. We have box office out of the box, uh, uh, and our thoughts on about this weekend. Yep. Um, we also have Joker beating out Deadpool for the R-rated King of movies, That's and then true. Cardi B joins Fast and Furious Nine. Oh, cur- oh cur- <laughs> he put it right here too. He's like, yeah. oh, cur- <laughs> just to remind me. But anyway, we're gonna hey. talk about that and more. So, box office, you guys. I want to kick off the box office and how movies did this week. Um, Maleficent obviously went uh, number one with uh, making twenty million, which is actually a disappointment because the movie is actually losing around eighty million already uh so far because of uh, how much it took budget uh, yeah because Mm. of how much it 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 was uh it took to make right um joker comes in at a respectful 19 million this weekend again Mm -hmm. man this movie is the reason you know again we're gonna get into it a little bit more Mm -hmm. but the reason why you know rated r movies are gonna be looking up to this one now i guess you know so uh zombie land uh 14.5 million Mm -hmm. um and it's a second week out uh so pretty good 50 million uh it's not doing as great as i thought it was gonna you know be Mm -hmm. making but it's still 50 million so far adam's family with 11 million and the new tyrese movie um uh, this cop drama kind of thing looks Mm -hmm. like it looks pretty actually pretty okay um it comes in at seven million not too shabby for one of those uh it it doesn't look like it took very much to make so yeah um, i don't think so hopefully they make some profit on it so yeah yeah what do you think man well man i'm just uh i just wanted to plug in uh zombie land double tap it's uh there's a review on our channel go ahead and check it out mm-hmm. we talk about it we spoil spoil a little bit of the movie and so yeah if you've seen it already or you're thinking about going and watching it on during the week go do that because i highly recommend it so we review it just to let you guys know we review it like for the first two three minutes of it and then the rest of it when we let you guys know right when we're going to start going into spoilers this way you guys can see a little bit about the movie and know if you guys want to know about what actually happened in the movie yeah and so uh, yeah mm-hmm. check us out zombie land it's on uh, our channel all right so, yeah uh, first so topic. i love the fact that um maleficent is oh. um is is up there still um, because you know it's a, it's a different audience. I I think that it's not my audience. Of course, it's not our audience. We right. haven't seen it, um, but it seems like it's drawing in a lot of um, you know the younger crowd, and also um, you know it looks like a lot of women are watching this film as well. Well, from my understanding, from some of the articles that I've been reading, it's mm-hmm. been losing a lot. Of, a lot of people haven't been going to watch it. I don't know about mm-hmm. the women. I don't. I don't know about all that. But I do know right. that people have been uh, complaining about how bad it is. Yeah. Um. I haven't yeah, yeah. watched it. I don't know. I know it doesn't have a good rating. But right a lot now. of people yeah. have been complaining about how how um how <clears throat> bad it is, and that it really a second one didn't need to be made. No. Yeah. I could. I could, so. I could have told you that. But it's good to see that there's like something for everyone is what i was yeah. going to say um and it, it's great to see um joker as well it's awesome to see that joker's still up there you know what i mean yeah. and so there's a little debate there that these two may not so right now we're filming on saturday we're looking at the predictions but on monday this might be different it's they're battling it out right now because if you see there's only one million difference there and so Joker might actually be on top again this week. So this weekend. So we'll see That's how true. that goes. That's yeah. true. Mm-hmm. That's so true. Usually, uh, usually, yeah. Like like I said, uh, Maleficent would be probably doing better right now than the Joker because yeah. it's, it, it's 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 in its second week out. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it hasn't been doing yeah. that great. Also, so. check out our uh, Joker review because it looks like a lot of people are still going to watch it. So yeah. Check it out. And we also do the whole review first and spoiler second. So I love doing that review. Out. That review is good. That, <laughs> yeah, that one's really good. <laughs> Everything we do is good. No, no, we had some pretty crappy ones, guys. But anyway, yeah, man, what's the first topic? All right. So uh, on the hot tops of this week, we have uh, Joker beating 
out Deadpool for the rated R um, king yeah, yeah. of the box office. And it's really funny how they did it. It's because um, they uh, Ryan Reynolds posted right. on his Instagram uh, about how it was dethroned by Joker. I heard he had like a little a, a little comment to say. I didn't hear or read what it what, it, what he Yeah, said. so so the whole thing is the like Joker and it it was a list of all the R-rated films like of the list. Yeah, yeah. And then he says like uh congratulations you effer or something like that. So he's just playing, you know, he's just playing uh yeah, yeah, playing yeah. with it. That's cool, man. It's it's super cool to see that he's in a good, you know, he, Ryan Reynolds is always yeah, in a good mood. Yeah, he's not hating. Like, he's not hating, of course. And of course not. you know, it's it's cool cuz there's like this whole thing where, you know, everyone's fighting for first place of all time, right? Yeah. Like the Avengers beat out um Star Wars, right? Yeah. And, oh no, uh it beat out um, uh, Avatar. That's what it. Beat oh out. yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So they got dethroned, and now we're gonna have this whole rated R thing, which is its own genre now, which is really cool because back in the day, it's the genre was not being touched by many. Really, rated R movies were like for adults, more dramatic, more like hyper, uh, um, sexual. You know, sometimes, yeah. and so it's. Interesting to see that the the comic book genre is taking over the rated R films as well. Yeah, no, the great thing about it is to know that actually rated R movies can now have a lot more substance. I think that in the past, when we are like doing these kind of movies, like because they're comic movies, and so some people don't look at them as as serious as they would a, like a real life kind of a situation that someone would make a drama, um, like a drama. Mm-hmm. That I think that it's so important to know that these kind of movies are, are being made this way and with that seriousness. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and so, yeah, man, I, I love the fact that, that it beat uh, Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool, because something like this needs to be up there. I mean, this yeah. movie, the more I just watched it again, and it was one of those movies where it was just like, yes, you feel uncomfortable, but that's what, if, if you're a director, that's what you want that person sitting on that seat to feel uncomfortable. Because There's some sort of emotional reaction, right? Yes, because that's why I went to the movies. The, that's why I spent my money. And so they achieved that in such a great way, not only with the cinematography. Let me tell you something. I think sometimes we forget to tell people how important it is to where these directors really get like their background. And, and like they're so calculated in how and where they put it in the lighting. And it was just so beautiful. That movie was made very beautifully just with a lighting. lot of detail a lot yeah. of love yes dude a lot of love a lot of detail which which made the movie even more uh gratifying mm-hmm. to, to watch however the performance of joaquin joaquin phoenix was yeah. it's over, just it's, overshadowed everything that's yeah. why yeah. everyone's talking about him but the whole film itself the director oh my gosh it was just something else man so not to get into a review about it but right Man, I'm there's super a reason happy why it. it's a king. Yes, dude. And, there's and substance, it, and it has it. to be an mm-hmm. uh, Oscar contender. It has to be. It has to win something. To be honest, because I have never seen a movie quite like this. To be honest, yeah, I, I I still like battle with it sometimes. Like like right now, I'm like just thinking about it, how how amazing it is, and I'm loving it. You know what I mean? And like some other days, I have a conversation with like coworkers, and they're just like, you know, I don't know how I feel about it. It's confusing, but blah. I'm like, well, it's meant to be like that, you know? So yeah, and so like I said, the mm-hmm. the, the Marvel. Uh, uh, rain is over. I yep. Guess, when yep, it comes yep. to the rated R. Yeah. DC, we're coming back. <laughs> <laughs> He's a DC fan. <clears throat> I'm a so DC my, apologist. My apologist. My, my favorite superhero is is Superman. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 You know, I'm a DC, but I love Marvel just the same. I can't. I can't pick a side. <laughs> to be honest, it's, it's too. Hard. I could. I love DC. I, st- it's, I, str- <laughs> I struggle, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, guys. All right. So. Please let us know what you guys think about the whole topic. Comment below. Are you guys excited about Joker being number one? Let us know. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> so uh, next hot topic that we have today is Cardi O'Kerr. Cardi B. <laughs> I, do a, I do a horrible Cardi uh, B. Car- um, she is joining Fast and Furious 9. Fast and Furious 9, it was inevitable. The thing, the, These things are not going anywhere anymore. Uh, so what do you, what do you think, man? Well, I mean, the, uh, coming from a franchise that started back in the in the early two thousand, uh, with Paul Walker, rest in peace. I mean, you can't really say very much 
more than what a great what a great human being he was not only in the movie but just just in life right mm-hmm. and you lose someone like that in these in this franchise it's it takes a big hit it takes a big hit um right however they've been able to they've been able to to lighten the blow with putting in people and objects and material things to enough another level of of like richness i guess you could say of wealth <laughs> um because of the kind of cars that they're driving because of the kind of situations that they're putting you can tell the cgi the how much computer graphics they spent on this movie and not necessarily that it's great computer graphics yeah but they're still obviously to a level of theatrical level that is that is you know that still looks good and so here you are in a in a in a position where you have all this drama with with Dwayne the Rock and Tyrese and they don't like each other and then Rock and Vin Diesel don't like each other. Mm-hmm. There's a lot going on, there's a lot of drama and here you throw in a girl like Cardi B. <laughs> and so it just it just continues to show you that you know, Vin Diesel and the people that are behind the whole franchise, mm-hmm. they're so calculated in how they do things. They know what people want to see. They know yeah. what people want to watch. And obviously, they know that drama, if anything, <laughs> helps everything that's going on. Yeah, for them. yeah, because Ty- Tyrese had some beef with Vin Diesel, right, in the past? No, with The Rock. Oh, The Rock, that's right. And that's then right. The Rock had also beef with Vin Diesel. Yeah. So everybody's beefing with, with The Rock. So right, right. Who knows? They're all haters. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe yeah. Although Shaw, uh, Shaw, and uh, what's it? Hobbs, uh, and, Hobbs Shaw and Shaw mm-hmm. did very well in the theaters. Yeah, they did. It really, it really did. did. So I, you know, I watched it a little bit. I didn't really like it, but yeah, going to the point where you're talking about how they know what people want to see nowadays. Like yeah. they, they know that they needed to bring in Ryan Reynolds, like during like Hobbs and Shaw. Right, right. His whole cameo, dude. Ryan Reynolds Spoiler is gonna alert. have, yeah. Ryan Reynolds is gonna have like a whole franchise, a whole sub franchise with Hub, Hubs and Shaw. Yeah, like he's gonna do his own thing. Watch, it's yeah. it's gonna happen, and um, it's great to see even Kevin Hart showed up there. Yeah, and hey, I wouldn't be surprised if they come up with the Fast and Furious Kevin Hart spinoff as well. Well, that's that's see to me, it's like there's a, such a thing called to overkill, and I feel like these films are eventually coming to their. But if people are still wa- going to yes, see them, but I think because it's calculated, it's going to make money because I think it's calculated in the way that that they're do, they're doing things as as of yet, as mm-hmm. of so far. Mm-hmm. I don't know how far they're taking it, but the more and more they saturate the market with these films, the less and less they'll be in demand. So. Yeah, the Hobbs and Shaw might work, even, but I don't think the second one's probably gonna work as much as the first one did. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but I'm kind of getting tired of this thing, man. Well, yeah, I am too. I was tired since seven. Like I, I've been exhausted at this point. If I'm yeah. running the race of Fast and Furious, yeah, I mean, I'm the tired last one of it. Was hard to watch. It was a little harder to watch. It's fun, but but not. But uh, really. but people are still going to, going to the movies and watching it. I mean, a lot of you guys uh, voted for Hobbs and Shaw to for us to watch it. I think that week. Yeah, I think we had a, like a whole vote thing, and all of you guys wanted to go watch it. And I, you know, it's fine. I mean, it's not our thing per se, but um, you know, it was entertaining in certain points. Yeah. Um, you and know, I'm they have value. Those. They do have value. And I think you're an action guy, right? You, yeah, you yeah, like- yeah. I'm not like a huge action guy. Action does not drive me uh, unless it's well done, like John Wick three. Yeah, there you um, go. That's like that is well done. Like that's like that takes me back to Bruce Lee times. Yeah, where he was an action star and it was like the real deal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and of course, like Keanu Reeves is not like a, you know, he's he's not a, a martial artist per se, but he knows his stuff well enough to assimilate that. You know, so it, it feels real. Um, but as far as Cardi B is concerned, I'm honestly they know what's going on in in uh in pop culture yep and bringing cardi b is an amazing move as far as on a business standpoint is concerned i was watching netflix's uh um rhythm and flow series yeah you've been telling me about it um so i highly recommend it for those who like r&b or rap or anything hip-hop in between that show is great they're taking a page from american idol 
and they're putting it out there for another subculture which was an amazing idea because there's no market for that right now not at that level and uh cardi b i'm gonna check it out shines in that show like look I'm not a huge Cardi B fan. She annoys me sometimes, but she's an she's a likable annoyment, annoying okay. voice in that in that show. And I appreciate her presence there, to be quite honest with you. It balances out the seriousness of TI in that show and and like the like the silence of um chance. Like she's a nice like she's a nice spice to it. It's cool. So I gotta I, watch it. I she's very entertaining. It. I would I, I I see this as a win for the Fast and Furious franchise, even though I think it's time for them to stop making these movies. <laughs> nice, yeah. So got it, man. I, yeah. I'm, I agree. All right, guys. So, so uh, this is something uh, that I wanted to bring up because it's Halloween. Okay. Uh, it's coming up this this week, and I don't know what you guys are going to be doing. If you're going to be s- passing out candies and stuff like that, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to be doing that. I think I'm going to be like buying like some cheap candy. And passing it out to my local Keyword, local kids. Cheap. Yes, very cheap. Well, I'm talking about like those little rapper ones, like little like one cent candies. The, one, the <laughs> ones that look like all like your fingers are shriveled. Like when you put them in water, they yep. look like that. And yep. they don't even have a name yeah. on the thing. They're just my, wrapped. My place is gonna get egged. Um but it's funny. You know, I wanted to like just kind of talk about like some horror movies, like something to to watch. Now that we're coming into, uh, you know, October 31st. Yeah, absolutely, man. So, any suggestions for the viewers out there? I know it's kind of horror movies. Yeah, or Halloween movies. Oh, man, dude, there's so many. But the one that comes to mind right away is I always suggest people to watch uh, the the Michael Myers, uh, the first one and the second one, uh, which are the Halloween movies. I know that you guys probably are very, very familiar with those but for those who haven't those are the well, i think one of the greatest movies that were made to make you feel that yeah. whole halloween kind of vibe yeah yeah that that does give you the halloween vibe for sure yeah. it's literally in, in the, and in why the does it do it because of the song yeah the song the uh the sound uh the, the track right yeah yeah for sure that's a memorable one for sure and if you guys want something more serious freddy krueger maybe serious uh, no, i'm sorry uh funnier like lighter yeah. kind of thing but yeah. actually you know what's so funny dude that the first like supernatural you mean the first freddy krueger night on elm street mm-hmm. night uh a nightmare on elm street yeah it was it wasn't funny like that he was he was a real crazy no, yeah. character i know i remember growing up watching that movie and it was like a serious thing like the first one is is um is pretty good dude like yeah, i haven't seen it in a long crazy. time it's crazy but i remember it and i'm loving that movie and i didn't i'm not a big horror guy like i don't really like scary movies neither do i yeah. um but that movie really scares the hell out of me so um but I'm more like I know that you like more realistic, grounded, like scary movies. It uh-huh. seems like from I do. from what you what you've told me. Um, I like more supernatural, like like impossible type of you know movies. You know what I mean? Or which would I don't would, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say like like impossible because actually this is totally possible. But more supernatural ones like The Conjuring. Oh, you like that kind of stuff. Yeah, right? I like more like spiritual things going on. You know what I mean? Like that stuff scares the bejesus out of me. Yeah. Um, I don't like to watch them, but I do. I do I like enjoy them. the 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 level of, pro- of production that they usually bring. So I really like them. I like those too. I I do love the Halloween stuff because I feel that that's like the lighter stuff kind of thing, you know, for yeah. people to watch. And I love those movies. I grew up with them. Yeah, yeah. Now in the age of where we're at, because I remember when you were a kid, mm-hmm. I the, the stuff that we're watching now, like The Conjuring back yeah. then was like Children of the Corn and yeah, yeah. The Omen and The Exorcist, would, which I would kind of stay away from. Because I just didn't want that in my spirit. But um, uh, even back then as a kid knowing that, right? Um, But now we have the Conjuring and we have the Annabelles of the world. We have the Amityville Horror, all Mm -hmm. that stuff. So to me, the reason why I watch those films and the reason why I love them is because you see how God manifests himself in those films. 
yeah, there's a lot of evilness. There's a lot of, if that's even a word, there's a lot of evil, a lot of, you know, crazy demon, you know, stuff. But then you see the how God manifests himself in that movie and like, oh, how they were able to defeat it or <clears throat> things like that, that I'm just mm-hmm. waiting for. Oh, how do you, how do they do this? And how do they get out of this? Especially on The Conjuring 2. That was a really good one. With, That's a really good movie, the, uh, for sure. You know, that demon that they were working with. But anyway, I forgot the name of name of that. But I yeah, do but love yeah. those movies. But yeah, you're right, dude. It's not one of those movies that I love to watch all the time because I've, yeah, I don't. I'm, I definitely don't ain't watching it by myself neither. So yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. I mean, I don't. I only watch it with like other people. To be quite honest with you, I, I wouldn't t- turn on and, like just you know watch it. Yeah, by myself. Anyway. Anyway. All yeah. right, y'all. So why don't you guys tell us what what suggestions you have for Halloween? Maybe we'll catch some new ones. Uh, this what, are week. what are you guys wearing? What are you guys wearing? Yeah, I'm not gonna wear. Oh, well, actually, I have a, a Halloween party at at my job, and I'm not. I think I'm gonna go as a dark Jedi or something like that to it. So cool. We'll see. I had my birthday party, and I was supposed to get dressed up, and I and I didn't. I just didn't. I know, dude. You had like one little thing of like paint on your cheek, and that's it. I know. There's people <laughs> dressed as superheroes and Power Rangers, and I didn't even get. <laughs> that's so funny, dude. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. We thank you guys for watching. Yep. Make sure that you guys comment. You know, subscribe. Please, you know, ring that little bell right there so like. you guys get notifications. Help us out. We're a growing channel. Yep. We love talking movies. Like I said, I hope you guys make us a part of your day. So, yeah. And stay, stay movie minded. Peace.